Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. A very warm good evening to all of you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's just wait for everybody to join in. Yes. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think we're in a good place to start. Uh, once again, I hope you're all doing great. You're all in the best of your health. Everyone's healthy, happy, and you're all, uh, you know, you're preparing very, very well. Uh, welcome to another class. Welcome to another class of uh, CSAT Civil Services Aptitude Test uh, uh, Comprehension Passages. We will uh, attempt about seven to eight passages again so that we get a better hang of it yes and uh, can anyone just confirm if my audio and my video is perfect if uh, my annotations everything is all right and then of course I can proceed with the lecture yes uh, just a second okay yes so are we all ready then? Uh, good, good, good evening. Good evening, Ankit, uh, Nivedita, uh, Vandana. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Okay, let's start. Uh, we will be covering about seven to eight passages, CSAT comprehension passages. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ankit. Let's start. Just a quick announcement before starting. Guys, uh, your uh, special uh, offer is going on. Uh, it's going to be available till 17th September. This is a special price week. You're going to get an additional. 10% discount with my educator code and uh, of course uh, another 10% discount with my educator code so please do enroll for it right away and avail the benefits so please do enroll for the batch you think is best suited for you and uh, 15 September say today again uh, your learner's journey is starting wherein you will be able to cover the prelims 2022 and mains 2022 in a very very comprehensive manner okay as you all already know I've already talked to you about the syllabus There's, there are about 25 to 30 questions that come every year from CSAT passages there's a logical reasoning there's a general mental ability basic numeracy right so you you can uh, figure out whatever is strong for you if your English area is strong then you can uh, go ahead and do all the English questions uh, all the comprehension questions and if you feel that maths is a strong area then you can go ahead with maths questions yeah okay just a second yeah Okay, let's start. I think I've already told you guys these uh, guidelines uh, a lot of times. I'll just say it one more time. Do come with an open mind, read the passage carefully and answer. Okay, on that note, I'm starting. The first passage on your screen goes right here today. We have very, very interesting passages. Listen to me carefully. Read it yourself very, very carefully and answer. The first passage is asking, what is the least essential? Okay, which of the following statements is least essential as a part of the argument in the above passage? Now, here is a different scenario. Hai. Question is, what is the least essential as a part of the argument in the above passage? Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and read the passage once. Human uh, history abounds M claims and theories confining the right of governing to a few select citizens. Exclusion of the many is justified on the ground that human beings may be rightfully segregated for the good of the society and uh, uh, viability of the political process. Okay, let's read it again. Human society abounds M claims and theories confining the right of governing to a few select citizens. Exclusion of the many is justified on the ground that human beings may be rightfully segregated for the good of society and why uh, viability of the political process. Okay, let's read. Let's read the question. Which of the following statements is least essential as a part of the argument in the above passage? A. Man seeks control over external things affecting him. B. In society, they are super and subhuman beings. Third, exceptions to universal citizen partic participation are conducive to sy uh, systematic efficacy. And D. Governing implies uh, recognition of disparities in individual capacities. Guys, do not panic. Uh, this is a 2015 uh, passage. Listen to this very, very, read this passage very, very carefully and read the question very, very carefully and tell me the answer. I'm giving you time to read it.
Yes, guys, tell me the answer. Final answer guys, final answer. What is the least essential as part of the argument? Least essential pooch rai. Okay, most of you are going with B. Least essential ka matlab hai ki kya, uh, it's not relevant to the passage. Least essential as part of the argument. I'll give you another few seconds. Guys, the answer to this is A. The answer to this is A. Least essential as part of the argument in the above passage. Man seeks control over external things affecting him. Where is this anywhere mentioned? The, of course, ye, ye society ye to bol exclusion of the many is uh, justified on the ground that human beings may be rightfully segregated. So there could be an argument about how in society they are super and subhuman beings. Uh, ex ex exceptions to universal citizen partnership, uh, participation are inclusive, conducive to uh, systematic effic efficacy. Again, this is an argument. Uh, yes, and governing principles employs uh, recognition of disparities in individual capacity uh, capabilities. Again, is an argument see guys that is why i kept teaching you about uh, i kept teaching you about your uh, uh, about arguments i knew argument ka question aa sakta hai hai na to guys dekho uh, i know this question was a little tricky like you don't know how to go about it because the question is asking least essential as part of the argument but here you have to understand ki ye bol raha acha matlab sabse kam in in charo point mein se uh, sabse bekar argument kya hai the first one man seeks control over external things where is it even remotely related to how is it it's talking about segregation it's talking about uh, your uh, you know um, your uh, exclusion it is nowhere talking about your uh, uh, you know uh, about man seeking control over external things that is why a is the correct answer okay con con okay som is asking कंडक्टिव का मीनिंग क्या होता है कंडक्टिव ओके सो एक्सेप्शंस टू यूनिवर्सल सिटीजन पार्टिसिपेशन आर कंडक्टिव टू बेसिकली कंड्यूसिव टू बेसिकली कंप्लाइंग टू इन एडियरेंस टू योर सिस्टमैटिक एफिकेसी दैट्स व्हाट इट्स ट्राइंग टू से ठीक है चल लेट्स गो हेड 
conducive uh, okay yes anything else that anyone wants to clarify you guys can ask me so i'm now going ahead with the next passage all the very best guys and come on can i get a thumbs up from all of you so that i know no one's sleeping at 4 15 uh, p.m uh, on a friday afternoon uh, on a on a thursday uh, on a wednesday afternoon uh. yes uh, all of you meant to see the friday anyway yes everyone's fresh everyone's ready for the next passage come on guys i need more energy from the other side of the screen come on how is the energy guys how is the energy what about others why am i only getting a thumbs up from one person uh, out of all okay guys perfect okay Shalom. let's go ahead with the next question now the next passage is uh, talking about which of the following statements best sums up the above passage now we are talking about summing up uh, summing up okay by 2050, the Earth's population will likely have swelled from 7 to 9 billion people to fill all these stomachs uh, while accounting for shifting consumption patterns, climate change and a finite amount of arable land and portable water. Some experts say food production will have to double. How can we make the numbers add up? Experts say high-yielding cock crop varieties and more efficient farming methods will be crucial. So will waste reduction. Experts urge cities to reclaim nutrients and water from waste streams and preserve farmland. Poor countries, they say, can improve your crop storage and packaging in rich nations could cut back on resource intensive foods like meat yes okay let's read it again by 2050 the earth's population will likely to have sold up from uh, 7 to 9 million people billion people to fill all these stomachs while accounting for shifting cult uh, consumption patterns climate change uh, finite amount of arable land and portable water some experts say that food production will have to double how can the, how can we make the numbers add up experts say high yielding crop varieties and more efficient farming methods will be crucial so will waste reduction experts urge cities to reclaim nutrients and water from waste streams and preserve farmland poor countries they say can improve crop uh, storage and packaging and rich nations could cut back on resource intensive foods like meat okay let's read the question now which of the following statements best sums up the above passage a the population of the world is growing very fast b food security is a perennial problem only in developing countries third the world does not have enough resources to meet the impending food scarcity and d food security is increasingly a collective challenge which of this following sums up the passage that we just read priyanka just try and refresh maybe then it'll be fine Yes, tell me the answer. Yes, yellow passage. No, I don't think we've done this. We've done a lot of passages on uh, 
food uh, security maybe that's why you're feeling we have not done this process sort of i'm going uh, you know chrono uh, i'm going uh, in the uh, decreasing order like i've started i started from 2020 passages then i went to 2019 passages then i went to 2018 passages then 2017 passages then we i think we're on the 2015 passages yeah swelled ka matlab hota hai ki bad bad jana zyada ho jana yes tell me the answer final answer Guys, the correct answer to this is the obvious answer. This was an obvious choice. What of, guys? See, ko a question kya pucha tha? Aaj main thoda sa alag puch rahi hu. Sirf assumptions or implications or inferences nahi puch rahi hu. To fir bhi aap log sahi kar rahe ho, not bad. See, uh, all of you uh, guys, this was talking about which of the following sums up the passage perfectly. Now, the first one, the population of the world is growing very fast. Now, of course, this is not. This is just uh, you know an argument. Or no, this is just a fact, right? Then B, food security is a perennial problem. Now this is a uh, this is a argument. Yes. Then the world does not have enough uh, resources to meet the impending. Again, this is an assumption. And uh, food security is uh, increasingly a collective challenge. Of course, that is what the passage is trying to sum up. Pura passage me kya likha hai ki ham logo ko khana kaise provide karenge? Hai na how the finite amount of arable land kaise logo ko khana milega? Yehi to pura passage ka gist hai, right? So in that regard, food security is increasingly a collective challenge. Is the correct answer in this regard? Okay, no issues, Saurabh. No issues. Chalo, let's go ahead with the third passage. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if anyone has any doubt. The next uh, passages, but before that, just a small tiny announcement, guys. If you haven't taken the subscription yet, guys, trust me, this is the last month to take this subscription at the price that you're getting right now. This is the good time for you to take the subscription. Please use the code P R E T Live. Right? Now, this is the good time for you to take the subscription. Please use the code P R E T Live. And I get an additional 10% discount. Avail the benefits. Yes. And okay, let's go ahead with the third passage. Passage. The third passage is with reference to the above passage, which of the following is the most valid assumption? What is the most valid assumption? Many people in India feel that if we cut our defense expenditure on weapon building, we can create a climate of peace with our neighbors. Subsequently, reducing the conflict or creating a no war situation. People who proclaim such ideas are either the victims of war or the propagators of false argument. Okay, let's read it. Okay, okay. Okay, please increase time and cover. Okay, okay, Priyanka. Okay, let's read it again. Many people in India feel that if we cut our defense expenditure on uh, your weapon building, we can create a climate of peace with our neighbors, subsequently reducing the conflict or creating a no war situation. People who proclaim such ideas are either the victims of war or the propagators of false argument. Okay, let's read the question with reference to the above passage. Which of the following is the most valid assumption? A building of weapon systems by us has investigated, has instigated our neighbors to wage wars against us. B. The greater spending on weapon building by us would lessen the possibility of armed conflict with our neighbors. Third, it is necessary to have the state of the art weapon system of national security. And D, many people in India believe that we are wasting our resources on weapon building. Select the correct answer, guys. Yes, guys, tell me the answer.
हाँ पैसेज ये देख लो Okay guys sir final answer to this sir Guys, the answer to this is B. Assumption, कितनी बार assumption, assumption, assumption पढ़ाया है मैंने. पहला building of weapon systems by us as it now instigated of our neighbors to wage wars against us is not the valid most valid assumption थोड़ी हुई है. This is just uh, it's more like an argument. Then B, the greater spending on weapon building by us would lessen the possibility of armed conflict. Yes, that is what the passage is trying to assume. This is the most valid assumption. Third, it is necessary to have state of the art. This is a solution. And D, many people in India believe that we are wasting our resources again. Is a is a uh, you can say it's like a an argument. Yes, it's an argument. It's an argument. The greater of spending on weapon building by us would lessen. Say it, boy. No, lessen. Say it, boy. Lessen. Say it, boy. Would lessen. Means, would come. Cut it. Lessen the possibility of armed conflict with our neighbors. No, say it, boy. Ankit, what is the problem? No problem. B is the correct answer, guys. Most valid assumption. Pucha tha. Most of you have gone with B, but a lot of you also got it wrong. Ravi, uh, I mean, I'm not going to point out names, sorry, but uh, most of you were. No, uh, it's like a fifty-fifty percent. But guys, why? I've taught you guys assumptions very, very properly. You could have easily C. You could have easily eliminated whoever went with C. You could have easily eliminated C because it's a solution, and A and D is a clear argument. Yeah. Guys, do not focus so much on the subject matter. मैं ये बार बार बोलती हूँ. Matter से ज़्यादा ये ढूँढने की कोशिश करो कि अच्छा assumption पूछ रहा है. ठीक है हम. इन चारों में assumption क्या है? Try. आप लोग इतना घुस जाते हो passage में. Passage. It's just you. It's this paper is checking your logical frame of mind. It's not checking how much you know. Try and understand the demand of the paper, guys. The paper is trying to see how much you know. Yeah. Okay. Chalo. Let's go ahead with the next question now. I hope till here it's crystal clear. The next passage goes. Uh, yeah. The next passage is talking about what is the critical inference that can be made from the above passage. Critical inference, guys. Chalo. Ye hamare area hai. Critical inference. बहुत बार कराया. Let's see what the passage is saying. The answer is on the passage. All ears and all uh, eyes on the passage. India accounts for nearly a fifth of the world's child deaths. In terms of numbers, it is the highest in the world, nearly 16 lakhs every year. Of these, more than half die in the first month of life. Officials believe that the reason for this is the absence of steps to propagate basic health practices relating to breastfeeding and immunization. Also, the large reproductive population of 2.6 crore remains befit of care during the critical phases of pregnancy and post delivery. At added to this is the prevalence of child marriages, anemia among young women, and lack of focus on adult ado adolescent sanitation. All of which, all of which, impact your child deaths. 
ओके क्रिटिकल इन्फ्लुएंस इन्फ्लुएंस एक्सैक्टली यस क्रिटिकल इन्फ्लुएंस इज द यस वॉट इज द रिएक्शन वॉट इज द आउटकम एक्सलूटली ओके लेट्स गो थ्रू द पैसेज वंस अगेन ओके लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट टाइम वॉट इज द क्रिटिकल इन्फ्लुएंस दैट कैन बी मेड फ्रॉम द अब पैसेज ए अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इंडियन आर इन लिटरेट एंड हैंस टू नॉट रेकग्नाइज द वैल्यू ऑफ बेसिक हेल्थ प्रैक्टिस B India has a very huge population and the government alone cannot manage public health services. Third universalization and integration of maternal health and child health services can effectively address the problem. And D the nutrition of women in child bearing age does not affect the child mortality rate. Let's read the passage again no issues. India accounts for nearly a fifth of the world's child deaths. In terms of numbers it is the highest in the world. nearly 16 lakhs every year of these more than half die in the first month of life officials believe that the reason for this is the absence of steps to propagate basic health practices relating to breastfeeding and immunization also the large reproductive production population of 2.6 crore remains befit of care during the critical phases of pregnancy as the most uh, critical inference that can be made from the above passage guys i'm sure you all are right good job guys you all have got it right to see is the correct answer this was a very very easy one since we've practiced so many critical inferences you all are right the correct good job guys i think my teachings of inference and assumptions are actually taking fruit you all are getting it right good job yes the correct answer is c universalization and integration of maternal uh, health and child health care services can effectively address the problem i think i aap sabne hi sahi diya i don't even uh, think uh, yes sir uh, I want to like uh, चलो फिर भी मैं एक बार आपको गो थ्रू करा देती हूँ अ लॉट ऑफ इंडियन आर लिटरेट एंड हैंस एब्सोल्यूटली नॉट है ना इंडियंस हैव अ वेरी यूज पॉपुलेशन द गवर्मेंट दिस इज अ आर्ग्यूमेंट अगेन देन द न्यूट्रिशन ऑफ वीमेन इन चाइल्ड वेरिंग एज डज नॉट इफेक्ट चाइल्ड मोर्टैलिटी रेट इज अगेन एन आर्ग्यूमेंट और लाइक नॉट अ वैलिड एजम्शन काइंड ऑफ थिंग Yes, sort of. After a long time, we all are doing well. Yes, good, good. I'm happy to see that you're doing all well. Yes, sort of. I told you, na, dhire dhire accuracy rate. Those five five percent be varaoge. So end of the month, you will have all answers right. Trust me on that. Okay. Chalo. Good job, guys. Good job. Proud of you. Let's go ahead with the fifth passage now. Uh, this passage is asking which, with reference to the above passage, which of the following statements is or are true. ठीक है आपको इसमें कोई वो वर्ड की वर्ड नहीं है तो लेट्स जस्ट गो हेड एंड रीड द पैसेज वेरी वेरी केयरफुली फूड्स ट्रैवल मोर देन द पीपल हु ईट देम ग्रोसरी स्टोर्स एंड सुपर मार्केट्स आर लोडेड विद प्रिजर्व एंड प्रोसेस्ड फूड्स 
This, however, often leads to environmental threats such as pollution generated by long-distance food transportation and wastage of food during processing and transportation, destruction of rainforest, reduced nutritional content, increased demand for preservation and packaging. Food insecurity also increases as the produce comes from regions that are not feeding their own population properly. Okay, let's read the passage again. Yes, hard work is paying off. Can you tell me the schedule of your class? Sure, Disha, every Monday to Friday at 4 o'clock, uh, I do this class. Every four, four, uh, if, uh, From Monday to Friday, every day, we have a class from 4 to 5. Okay, Chalo, let's read the passage once again. Foods travel more than people who eat them. Grocery stores and supermarkets are loaded with preserved and uh, your uh, processed foods. This, however, often leads to environmental threats such as pollution generated by long-distance food transportation and wastage of food during processing and transportation, destruction of rainforest, reduced nutritional content, increased demand for preservation and packaging. Food insecurity also increases as the produce comes from regions that are not feeding their own population properly. Okay, let's see what the passage is asking. With reference to the above passage, which of the following statements is or are true? First, consuming regionally grown food and not depending on long travel food is part of the eco-friendly behavior. And second, food processing industry puts a burden on our natural resources. Tell me the correct answer, guys. ध्यान से गाइस फाइनल आंसर दे दिया सबने फाइनल आंसर दे दिया गया है हाँ जी गाइस आप लोग इधर आओ सब ये जो सी वाले हो लिसन टू मी गुलिस्ता ओके गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग सुनो मेरी बात क्या यहाँ अजम्पन वर्ड यूज किया है मुझे हाँ या ना में जवाब दो जिसने भी बी दिया है और जिसने भी सी दिया आंसर कहीं भी आपको अजम्पन वर्ड दिख रहा है सी वाले लोग कहीं भी अजम्पन वर्ड दिख रहा है बंद रहा रुक जाओ नहीं अब सबने आंसर दे दिया आंसर टाइम इज क्लोज नाउ मुझे पहले बताओ अजम्पन वर्ड कहाँ लिखा है अजम्पन वर्ड कहीं लिखा है कहीं भी मुझे नहीं दिख रहा है आप लोगों को दिख रहा है बताओ भाई कहीं भी आपको अजम्पन वर्ड दिख रहा है नहीं 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 अब अब आंसर वर्ड चेंज करो सब मुझे पहले बताओ अजम्पन वर्ड दिख रहा है क्या नहीं दिख रहा नहीं दिख रहा ना तो गाइज ये ट्रू पूछ रहा है पहला स्टेटमेंट इज एन अजम्पन कितनी बार बताऊं मैं ठीक है चलो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम यू डिड अ क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस दैट्स ओके इट्स ऑब्सोल्यूटली फाइन बट गाइज बी केयरफुल नो सी सब सी के साथ गए हो बाय सौरभ ये देखो स्ट्रीक मैंने ज़्यादा देखो नज़र अपनी लग जाती है बड़े खुश हो रहे थे ना कि सारे आंसर सही हो रहे हैं ये लोग एनी वे नो नो दैट इज लाइक ऑन अ सीरियस नोट गाइज बी केयरफुल अगर अजम्पन पूछा है देन योर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट विल बी राइट देर इज नो वेयर कहीं भी कंज्यूमिंग रीजनली ग्रोन फूड का जिक्र ही नहीं किया गया है मैं आपको पैसेज पे वापस भी लेके गई थी 
हाँ आंसर अंकित यस एग्जैक्टली आंसर भी कभी गलती से दिख गया था बट ठीक है यू डोंट हैव टू फोकस ऑन द आंसर ये मैम इट्स नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट यस इट इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट इको फ्रेंडली बिहेवियर इट इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट रीजनली ग्रोन फूड दिस इज जस्ट आस्किंग कि भाई पैसेज की कॉन्टेक्स में कौन सी स्टेटमेंट सही है द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज एब्सोल्यूटली रॉन्ग and second one food processing industry puts a burden on our natural resources yes of course that is true ye dekho yahi to bolna cha raha hai um ye dekho ye line mein ek second this whole passage is about uh, you know putting burden on the natural resources hai na so of course the second one is right yes but uh, the first one is absolutely wrong but prove it हाँ सौरभ मैं वही तो बोल रही हूँ ना इको फ्रेंडली बिहेवियर और कंज्यूमिंग रीजनली ग्रोन फूड का जिक्र कहाँ किया हुआ है ये दिस इज अ शेयर अजम्पन दिस इज अन अजम्पन बाय द ऑथर सौरभ अजम्पन और बीइंग ट्रू में डिफरेंस है देर इज अ डिफरेंस सम समझी गए समझ आ रहा है है ना देखो आई नो यू गाइज थॉट एकदम से सीए हाँ बट थोड़ा सा और ध्यान देना पड़ेगा ठीक है क्वेश्चन uh, अगर uh, हमारे थोड़े से भी अलग आ जाते हैं जैसे एजम्पन नहीं पूछा होता या कुछ तो हम मैं देख रही हूँ आप लोग गलत कर रहे हो जैसे इन्फ्लुंस सही कर रहे हो क्रक्स सही कर रहे हो क्रिटिकल मैसेज सही कर रहे हो बट जैसे इन वर्ड्स से कॉन्टेक्ट से अलग आ जाता है तो आप आप लोग गलत कर रहे हो तो थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखना ज़रूरी है ठीक है डिड यू ऑल अंडरस्टैंड डिड यू गैस कैर हैंग ऑफ इट समझ आया ठीक है शो क्लियर ओके okay, ध्यान रखना आप कोई दिक्कत नहीं है पहली बार किया था ऐसा क्वेश्चन आगे हम और भी अलग अलग टाइप के क्वेश्चंस करेंगे सो दैट वी आर प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ पैसेज दैट कम्स इन द पेपर ओके लेट्स गो हेड विद द नेक्स्ट लास्ट टू पैसेजेस लास्ट टू पैसेजेस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट ध्यान से नाउ दिस पैसेज गाइज इज बेसिकली अ लॉन्ग पैसेज इट्स लाइक अ स्टोरी सो डोंट वरी इट डज नॉट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फैक्ट्स लेट्स सी वॉट दिस पैसेज इज आस्किंग द ऑथर बेसिकली ये पूरा एक वैलिड रीजन या कुछ पूछना चाह रहे हैं ध्यान से सुनना दिस इज लाइक अ बिग दिस इज लाइक अ लेंदी पैसेज जस्ट लिसन टू मी और यू कैन म्यूट मी एंड लिसन टू इट केयरफुली नहीं 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 सौरभ ये ट्रू पूछ रहा है वॉट इज एग्जैक्टली ट्रू इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट ये जो मैं ये ये दिस इज एन अजम्पन सौरभ आप अजम्पन और ट्रूथ में क्यों नहीं डिफ्रेंशिएट कर रहे हो दिस योर कंज्यूमिंग रीजनली ग्रोन फूड एंड नॉट डिपेंडिंग ऑन लॉन्ग ये कहा लिखा है नॉट डिपेंडिंग ऑन लॉन्ग टाइबल फूड इज पार्ट ऑफ इको फ्रेंडली बिहेवियर कहीं नहीं मैंशन किया है इको फ्रेंडली बिहेवियर और कंज्यूमिंग रीजनली ग्रोन फूड ठीक है थोड़ा सा ध्यान थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस ये दे इज अ थिन लाइन जो आपको देखनी पड़ेगी वंस यू प्रैक्टिस यू विल गेट अ हैंग ऑफ इट सी यू कम सच अ लॉन्ग वे है ना आउट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन यू गॉट रॉन्ग आउट ऑफ ऑल है ना वी इम्प्रूविंग ओके चलो ओके लेट्स गो हेड विद नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ येस नाउ लिसन टू मी दिस इज लाइक अ स्टोरी एंड रीड इट विद मी और यू कैन म्यूट मी एंड रीड इट योर सेल्फ वट एवर वर्क बेस्ट फॉर यू ओके लेट्स रीड द पैसेज आई मस्ट से दैट Beyond occasionally explo- uh, expo- uh, exposing me to laughter, my constitutional shyness has been of no advantage, disadvantage, what, what, uh, whatsoever. It should be whatsoever. In fact, I can see that on the contrary, it has been all to my advantage. My hesitancy in speech, which was once an annoyance, is now a pleasure. Its greatest benefit has been that it has taught me the economy of words. I have naturally formed the habit of restraining my thoughts and I can now give myself the certificate that a thoughtless word hardly ever escapes my tongue or pen I do not recollect even having had to regret anything in my speech or writing I thus uh, uh, I have thus been spared many a mishap and waste of time Experience has taught me that silence is part of the spiritual discipline of a wa- uh, watery of truth. Proneness to exaggerate, to suppress or modify the truth, uh, uh, rightly or un uh, right, uh, 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 wittily, it's wittily, my bad, uh, wittily or unwittily, is a natural weakness of man, and silence is necessary in order to surmount it. A man of few words will rarely be thoughtless in his speech. he will measure every word we find so many people impatient to talk there is no chairman of a meeting who is not pestered with notes for permission to speak 
and whenever the permission is given the speaker generally extends the extend, exceeds the time limit asks for more time and keeps on talking without permission all this talking can hardly be said here to be of any benefit to the world it is so much waste of time my shyness has been in reality my shield and buckler it has allowed me to grow it has helped me in my discrement of a truth theek hai it's like a story passage yes sir uh just let's see um we can just highlight few words okay let's read the question the author says that a thoughtless word hardly ever escapes his tongue or pen which one of the following is not a valid reason for this a he has no intention to waste his time b he believes in the economy of words third he believes in restraining his thoughts and d he has hesitancy in his speech tell me the answer guys i'll go to the passage once again do you guys want me to read the passage once again or are you good to go do you guys want me to read the passage once again Guys, do you want me to read the passage once again? Do you guys want me to read the passage once again? This is a lengthy passage. Should I read it once again, or you guys are good to go? Okay, okay, perfect. Guys the correct answer is A The correct answer is A The author says theek hai it was a confusing passage i agree The author says that a thoughtless word hardly ever escapes his tongue or a pen which of the following is not a, a valid reason for this he has no intention to waste his time This is not the valid reason na वैलिड रीजन पूछा नॉट अ वैलिड रीजन पूछा है समझ आ रहा है नहीं समझ आ रहा इसलिए बोला था एक बार और पैसेज पढ़ लेती हूँ इसलिए बोला था एक बार और पैसेज पढ़ लेती हूँ एक बार फिर भी मैं ना चेक कर लेती हूँ योर I'll just check uh, the answer once again so that you guys are absolutely sh- we are all absolutely sure. I don't want to uh, you know just a second.
गाइस द आंसर इज ए हाँ हाँ एक तो नॉट वैलिड आप लोगों ने ध्यान नहीं दिया चलो लेट्स ट्राई एंड बीट द पैसेज अगेन आई नो इट्स अ लिटिल ट्रिकी एक और क्वेश्चन है इसका सो वी नॉट वेस्टिंग वी नॉट एक्चुअली वेस्टिंग आर टाइम ओके चलो आई मस्ट से दैट बियॉन्ड ओकेजनली एक्सपोजिंग मी टू लाफ्टर माई कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल शॉइनेस हैज बिन ऑफ नो एडवांटेज वॉट्स एवर इन फैक्ट आई कैन सी दैट ऑन द कॉन्टररी इट हैज बिन ऑल टू माई एडवांटेज my hesitancy in speech which was once an annoyance is now a pleasure its greatest benefit has been that it has taught me the economy of words ye dekho to ye dekho uh, my hesitancy in speech is of course a reason economy of words is definitely a reason i have naturally formed the habit of restraining my thoughts is also a reason and now i can give myself the credit that a thoughtless word hardly ever escapes my tongue or pen I do not recollect even having to regret anything in my speech or writing. ठीक है तो ये तीनों एक साथ ही आ जाता है Not valid situation में भी first option is valid. How is it all valid? देखो वंदना ये देखो passage पे आओ passage पे आओ सुनो वंदना look at the passage. Now read this again. My hesitancy in speech, which has once been an annoyance, is now a pleasure. Its greatest benefit is that it has taught me to the economy of words. I have naturally formed the habit of restraining my thoughts. and now i can give myself the certificate that a thoughtless word hardly ever escapes my tongue or pen that is what this passage is asking that that is what this question is asking the author says that a thoughtless word hardly ever escapes his tongue or pen which of the following is the moon is not a valid reason for this ye teeno valid reasons hai guys okay maine isliye bola tha ki passage ek bar aur pad lete hain ye hamare saath sab ka galat hua hai because we did not read the passage carefully we did not read the passage carefully pehle pas pehle paragraph mein hi sara answer diya hai he has ye to bahut baad mein baat kar rahe hain Not a valid reason for this particular thoughtless word is ये तीनों Okay, ma'am, wasting time is also yes. Vandana, it is mentioned in the passage, but it is but the author, but this question is asking the author says that a thoughtless word hardly ever escapes his tongue. Is context में आपको ये reasons बताने हैं ना कि पूरे passage के context में. Guys, अगर हम ये passage वापस पढ़ लेते तो हमें idea better मिल जाता. Yes, I, I, yes, I, a lot of you got confused because it's a little lengthy passage. I get it, I get it. ये थोड़ा लंबा पैसेज था बट देखो है तो है मैंने बोला था सब बोलते नो मैम अरे मैम क्या करोगे वापस पढ़ के मैंने यार ठीक है सबको समझ आ गया तो मैं क्या आई डोंट आई एल नॉट रीड इट अगेन आ गया समझ अब क्यों वापस पढ़ने होते हैं पैसेज समझ आया अपनी रीडिंग हैबिट इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग करो कि एटलीस्ट दो बार पढ़ रहे हो पैसेज आप लोग सो दैट यू नो एग्जैक्टली वो द पैसेज इज ऑफ सक्स की है ना ओके एनी वे एनी वे इट्स ओके इट्स ओके सो नाउ लिसन टू दिस ये देखो इट्स ये आस्क ये सीधा बोल रहा है कि दैट अ थॉटलेस वर्ड हार्डली एवर स्केप सिस्टम वॉट इज नॉट द वैलिड रीजन फॉर इट ये देखो इन तीनों ये तीनों में कहाँ लिखा है कि यू नो योर इस लाइन के कॉन्टेक्स में वैलिड रीजन कहाँ है दैट वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम वाला Yes, it's not irrelevant as a whole. Yes, yes, Vandana, it's not irrelevant as a whole. But this line के context में the most invalid one is A. ठीक है थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखना है Passage थोड़ा लंबा था कोई नहीं जब आपके सामने passage और question होगा आप लोग कर लोगे I know, I trust you guys. Uh, let's try and read the second question now, but we'll go back to the passage so that we don't get this wrong. The most appropriate reason for the author to be spared many a uh, miss. mishap uh, is that uh, e a he hardly utters or writes a thoughtless word b he is a man of immense uh, patience uh, third he believes that he is a spiritual person and d he is he is a wat- watery of uh, truth the most appropriate reason for the author to be spared many a mishap is that ye lo ye lo yahan se pad lo yahan se pura padho ek baar Nivedita did you understand Nivedita was confused
मिसहैप मिसहैप का मतलब होता है कुछ गड़बड़ हो जाना मिसहैप हो गया ऐसे बोलते हैं ना अब पैसे से आंसर कर रहे हो अब समझ आ गया अब बड़े फास्ट हो आप लोग समझ जाते हो फाइनल आंसर गाइस Guys, the answer is A. You guys have got a hang of it. Good job, guys. देखो सबका आंसर सही हुआ अरे सबका आंसर अब देखो सही हुआ क्योंकि सबको समझ आ गया कि पैसेज के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में बताना है ये देखो आई हैव दस पेड मेनी मिस हैप इन अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम एक्सपीरियंस एज नॉट मी दैट साइलेंस इज पार्ट ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल डिसिप्लिन ऑफ अ वॉरिटी ऑफ ट्रूथ प्रोननेस टू एग्जैजरेट टू सप्रेस और मॉडिफाई द ट्रूथ राइटली और विटली और नॉन विटली इज अ नेचुरल वीकनेस वीकनेस ऑफ अ मैन राइट सो ये सारा एंड यस ये सारा जो है ये इसमें ये देखो ही इज मैन ऑफ इमेंस पेशेंस दैट शोज ही बिलीव दैट ही इज अपिरिचुअल पर्सन येस एंड इज अ वर्ड तो ये फर्स्ट वाला ही हार्डली आटर्स और राइट्स अ थॉटलेस वर्ड इज द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है तो थोड़ा सा आप लोगों को ध्यान देना है थोड़ा सा और आप लोग सी वंस यू रीड द पैसेज यू गॉर इट है ना इतना टफ नहीं है तो ऐसे क्वेश्चन अगर गलत हो रहे हैं सौरभ दैट्स ओके बट ओवरऑल यू ऑल हैव डन अ गुड जॉब आई वॉन्टेड टू डू एन अदर पैसेज बट बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉन्स्ट्रेंट ऑफ टाइम वी विल कैरी ऑन द पैसेजेस फ्रॉम टमोरो आई ट्राई एंड यू नो एक्सटेंड द टाइम बट लेट सी हाउ आई कैन प्लान इट आउट बेटर ठीक है ओके दिस इज इट फ्रॉम माई साइड आई हैव अ नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो आई विल डू द सेवेंथ पैसेज ओके एक और क्वेश्चन है गाइस सॉरी माय बैड फॉर द ऑथर साइलेंस इज नेसेसरी इन ऑर्डर टू सरमाउंट ए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल शाइनेस बी हेजिटेंसी इन स्पीच थर्ड सप्रेशन ऑफ थॉट्स एंड डी टेंडेंसी टू ओवर स्टेट साइलेंस इज नेसेसरी इन ऑर्डर टू सरमाउंट रीड द पैसेज एक बार इसका आंसर बताते जाओ गाइस चलो मैं आपको ये गिफ्ट दे देती हूँ सिंस वी आर रनिंग लेट ऑन टाइम इसका आंसर है डी मोस्ट ऑफ यू टू पीपल हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन विद डी टेंडेंसी टू ओवर रिएक्ट साइलेंस इज नेसेसरी इन ऑर्डर टू सरमाउंट ये देखो ना यहाँ लिखा है देखो अ फ्यू मैन ऑफ यू वर्ड्स विल रेली बी थॉटलेस इन स्पीच ही विल मेशो एवरी वर्ड ही विल फाइंड वी फाइंड सो मेनी पीपल ये ठीक है उसके बाद यस एक सेकेंड ये रहा ना proneness to exaggerate uh, to suppress or modify the truth wittily or un, uh, wittily is a natural weakness of man to agar ab hum ab aap un question padhe to silence is necessary in order to surmount tendency to overstate ye to bol raha hai ki exaggerate aur ye sab 
ओवर स्टेट इज ऑल्सो इज एजुरेशन ओनली राइट सो इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है चलो गाइज आई विल सी यू ऑल इन माई अन अकेडमी क्लास ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर अ मिनी मॉक टेस्ट वी डो अबाउट फोर्टी क्वेश्चन टूडे वी हैव वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आई आर इन साइंस एंड टेक क्वेश्चन एंड करंट अफेयर क्वेश्चन टू नॉट मिस आर आउट टू जॉइन मी देर एंड गाइज वन वन लास्टिंग डू नॉट फर्गेट टू टू जॉइन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक द सेशन एंड नाइनटीन सेप्टेम्बर को गाइज वी हैव अन अकेडमी mega combat please do not miss out on this golden opportunity to enroll for this prat life code aapko use karna hai thank you so much i can see that you all are doing well good job guys iconic and plus my iconic has personal guidance test analysis expert guidelines study material and study planner plus has live classes weekly test structured courses and unlimited access to these courses this is it from my side please do not forget to subscribe this is it from my side thank you so much do not forget to click the like button share and subscribe the video and uh, all the very best guys see you tomorrow same time same place uh, and uh, all the very best have a good evening bye bye thank you so much for your time bye bye